Hey, Shalomon, Shalomon. First off, I'd like to say, Kahala, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me. Also, I'd like to say, peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect, the Akim that's teaching his word in all sincerity and faith throughout the four corners of the earth. For the few sincere sisters who watch and believe, Shalom to you as well. Shalom to all of the new fruit, the new believers, the new viewership coming into this thing. Uh, and I just kind of want to uh, touch on a, a, a huge point of emphasis that I know the men of Great Millstone, we always push our people to recognize, but the majority of our people that know that they're Israelites, they don't really like to deal with this particular topic. And that's concerning pretty much how you're going to enter into the kingdom because a lot of our people, they treat the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son like a genie in a bottle. They only pray to the Lord whenever their back is totally against the wall, when they're in dire straits, so to speak. That's when they want to call to the Lord. Our people don't want to seek the Lord before, you know, any manner of adversity comes on their plate, but they want to already be in the in the thick of things before they call on the Lord to, to come to their beckoning call, okay? And a lot of our people, you know, concerning the kingdom of heaven, they think they just going to skate, skate, you know, just uh, comfort, comfort uh, and pain free uh, from any adversities, any turmoil, any tribulation into the kingdom of heaven. I know jokingly, I know when we was out on the highways and the byways, you know, this past Friday, I said a lot of our people think they're going to do a Dion high step into the kingdom of heaven or any other like celebratory, you know, dance or just skating into the kingdom, man, unharmed. But the scriptures don't say that, man. That's not the proper expectation as far as truth is concerned out of the Bible as far as how we obtain the kingdom of heaven. The description says in uh, Hebrews, the 11th chapter, we, we, we labor to enter into that rest, man. And right now it's a time of labor. Right now it's a time to be afflicted, you know. Now, of course, it's, it's certain moments where we, you know, enjoy uh, laughter and, and some of the folly that goes on in this place. But, but for the most part, our, our spirit is, is set on the kingdom of heaven. And it comes with a lot of bitterness, man. A, a lot of things within this flesh, we have to basically mortify our members, man, okay? Because we know, according to prophecy, that we're coming into the time of Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, okay? Satan's going to come with great wrath because he has a, sh a short time. So I'll just get a few scriptures to just show, of course, we're, we're, we're ready to get the kingdom of heaven to where... We're going to uh, be in all manner of righteousness. We're going to be all back together as one big family as, as far as the Israelites are concerned. We're going to have dominion and authority over these heathen nations. Okay, our bodies are going to be changed. We're going to have our own land. But there's a, a huge price to pay for, for, for tasting of that glory, so to speak. Just as Yahweh Shai, you know, when he was on the earth, he didn't commit sin, but he still had to go up on that cross and be sacrificed for the sins of the nation of Israel, chiefly the elect. So, in order to, to partake, to be joint heirs in that glory, man, we're going to have to partake in those sufferings, man. Okay? So, it's a difficult road towards the kingdom of heaven, man. It ain't going to be no moonwalking into the kingdom of heaven. And I said, you know, in jesting, in, in joking, but the intent is serious, so I'll start off here in the scripture so I don't rumble on too much and pardon the noise because I'm, I'm doing a little nature walk while I'm doing this lesson. But I'm here in um, Acts 14 and 22. It says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. So that's what's happening right now, man, through us going out on, going out on the highways and the byways, making our bodies a living sacrifice, putting up these videos, you know. We're exhorting the Akim, the body of believers, to continue in the faith, man. Because it's going to be all amount of, of temptations, tribulation, adversities that we're going to have to go through. And it's going to really test our walk of faith, you know. Our, all of our faith is going to have to be proven through, through the, the fiery furnace of adversity. It says, Come, confirming the souls of the disciples 
and exhorting them to continue in the faith in that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high so that's the point right there it says and that we must not it's optional it says that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high so that's the point right there man it's clear as day right here in the scriptures through much it didn't say some tri uh, tribulation you know it didn't say uh, amount of tribulation to where you feel like you've had enough because of course we know that the most high is not going to put more us than, more on us than we can bear okay and the most high's grace is sufficient for all of us but the point being made it says and that we through much tribulation uh enter into the kingdom of the most high okay it says oh that's the point right there i'm gonna get another scripture actually so that's the point right there in acts it says we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high i'm gonna go here because there's a price a price to be uh played a price to be paid for being a follower being a disciple of who the world calls Jesus, which we know in the Hebrew tongue, his name is Yahweh Shah. You know, everyone think they can just do whatever the hell that they want to. And then when they're in trouble, now you can pray to the Lord to come bail you out. Now, nah, I don't work that way, man. We're going to have to suffer in this flesh. We're going to have to deny this flesh, man. You know, that's part of the enduring because the word endure means to make hard. So if we got an easy road to the kingdom, man. What what good is it what good is it to have faith and hope in things that are unseen? But this is uh Matthew seven and thirteen, okay? It says, "Enter, enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in there," okay? And the word and the way that that word straight is spelled, it means a position of difficulty, man. So in following our Lord, Yahweh Shah, you know, it's going to be a difficult road, man. It's going to be the road less likely traveled, okay? Because broad is the way that leads to destruction. And many ways, and many go that way, meaning the ways of this world, man. Uh, what is it? The, uh, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Just doing... Uh, what everybody else is doing, so to speak. I, I, I can't really think of what I wanted to say, but I know I've, I've heard the saying goes, uh, follow not a multitude to do evil, man. That's what the scriptures actually says. But if you see a, 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 a multitude of people doing something, you may want to reconsider doing the exact opposite thing, okay? Because it may lead to a road of destruction. You know, and we got countless examples, even here in recent times, even when it uh, comes to like the, the jab, man. A lot of people, a majority of the people out here took that jab, man. And then the, the few that rejected that thing, you know, it was it was bitter for, for a lot of them, man. People made fun of them. You know, people tried to uh, uh, put their livelihoods at stake, you know, whatever the case may be. That's just an example today. So many are going to follow. The, 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 the easy path, so to speak, man. Just uh, follow status quo. Do what everybody's doing. The popular choice, okay? The, the path with the least amount of resistance. That's what everybody's going to try to follow, man, okay? It says, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. So narrow is the path that leadeth to life. And there's only going to be a few that, that find it, man. Okay? This world was made for many, but the, the world to come for few. So, most of the people in this world, as we know it, man, they're of the world. They're, they, don't, they don't have a, a fear of the Heavenly Father, man. They don't have faith. They don't believe in the prophecy. They don't know what the hell was going on, man. They don't know the will of the Lord. Okay? So, they're going to... Uh, do what, what feels good to the flesh. They're going to uh, please the flesh in, in every opportunity that they can. But the elect of Israel, the elect of the Most High, man, we're going to take the unbeaten path, so to speak, which is going to lead to the kingdom. It's going to lead to life. That's the point being made. The sufferings of this present time are not going to compare 
to the glory and the honor that we're going to receive in the kingdom of heaven. Okay? So right now it's time to just prepare your mindset, man, to, to go through things, man. Suffer loss. Just have a lot of, you know, bitterness and heartache at times, man. Depression, whatever the case may be. You know, for, for different brothers, we all go do, through different things in our own individual walk. But your walk is not going to always be a pleasant walk, man. Okay? There's always going to be a lot of obstacles along the way. Your patience is going to be tested. Okay? Everything is going to be tested. Your faith overall is going to be tested. And the, and the best testing mechanism is hell, what we call it, man. Adversity, tribulation. This is uh, Sirach chapter 2 verse 1 or Ecclesiasticus chapter 2 verse 1. It says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So if you come to serve the Lord, you already got to have the mindset right off top that there's going to be a lot of uh, turmoil that can come along the way. There's going to be a lot of adversity along the way. There's going to be a lot of tribulation along the way, man. Okay, it says set thy heart aright, and your heart is talking about your mind. It says set thy heart or your mind aright, and constantly endure. And that word, like I said earlier, endure it means to make hard. The Lord is making us hard through these adversities. Our character is being refined through these adversities. Because right now, man, honestly speaking for myself, I don't think I'm worthy to get the kingdom at this appointed time. You know, now I'm, 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 I'm trying to the best of my ability to get lost in the process so that I may be found worthy. You know, when all manner of prophecy comes to pass and the Lord comes to deliver us, man, you know, when the destruction takes place. But it's, 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 it's necessary that we go through what we're going through at this appointed time, man. It's all it's all a character build up. All right. So I'm going to go to. Uh, Verse 3, it says, Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 3, it says, Cleave unto him, Salakia. Yeah, I'm going to read 2 again. Verse 2, it says, Set thy heart aright and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest, that thou mayest be increased at the last end. So we're hoping to be increased at the last end. Those that are last shall be first. And them that are first shall be last. A lot of people, they're trying to get their increase right now. Not saying that brothers shouldn't be productive and esteem to reach the highest opportunities, you know. But at the end of the day, we know that we're pilgrims passing through. This is a temporal setup, this current world. We're really trying to get the big increase in the latter end, man. We're trying to forsake uh, a, certain, uh, a, cer a certain worldly gain right now. To get the biggest increase uh, at the latter end, okay, which ultimately is salvation in the kingdom. It says, "Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully." So whatever is brought upon your plate, man, take cheerfully, and that's easier said than done. But you know, having the right attitude when things happen, having a solution-oriented mind when certain things happen, man, not losing your faith. Not losing your hope in the Lord when certain things happen, man. That try your spirit. Because it's all coming to men. And like I said earlier, the Lord is not going to put more on any man than we can bear. Okay? It says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. So, when you're changed to a lower state, man, the Lord most likely wants you to go through that suffering process to refine your character. So, take it patiently, man. When you're going through certain situations, man, that try your spirit, that try your faith, okay? There's always learning opportunities. Those are the L's and how we look at it. Not losses, learning opportunities. Lessons. It says, for gold and the Most High likens the elect of the nation of Israel unto fine gold. Okay? Verse 5, it says, for gold is tried in the fire. And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So that's the point I wanted to hit right there, man. It says, for gold is tried in fire. Because fire is a purifying agent, man. 
that uh, removes all the, the impurities from gold, man. And right now we're going through that purification process, all of us, man. You know, it's certain things that needs to be purged out of us all, man. And that only comes through adversity, through that fire. Okay? And that's going to eventually turn us into acceptable men. Worthy to be delivered when the Lord returns, man. Okay? So, it ain't going to be no Deion Sanders high-stepping into the kingdom of heaven, man. Each member of the elect, you know, start with the 144,000, man. We're going to have to go through our own set of hell, our own set of adversities to taste the precious kingdom of heaven. So, this video is not to discourage, brothers, but just to be mindful of that we can all endure, man. Just as our, our Lord and Savior, our greatest example to date did, man. He already laid the, 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 the foundation, you know. He already laid the blueprint. So we're just trying to follow his blueprint to the best of our ability. And Lord willing, we're enduring to the end. We're going to partake in the, in, the, in the beauty and the glory of the kingdom. So with all being said, Lord willing, this edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, one peace and blessings to the elect.